Hi, this is Sir Moy again. And for today's video, we're going to discuss about yes, the sum of infinite geometric secrets. Ooh, ano naman? Possible po ba yun, Sir? Di ba po? Pag infinite, ibig sabihin po forever. Sino sa answer niyan? Eh, di ba po wala naman forever? Okay, let's see. Kung iisipin mo nga, parang sobrang imposibleng makuha natin yung sum ng isang infinite number of series. Copy, sir! Pero pwede yan in terms of geometric sequence. Given by the formula, yan. S is equal to A sub 1 divided by 1 minus R. Kung saan yung S natin ay yun yung sum. Yung A sub 1, syempre, first term. And then yung R, yun yung common ratio natin. Pero, in this case, yung common ratio natin o yung R natin may restriction. Where R is less than 1 but greater than negative 1. Sir, ano na naman yung mga greater than, greater than, less than, less than na yun? Ayun na naman yung nagpapahirap dyan ni eh, kaya ayoko ng mati. Ano nga ba yun? Pag sinabi natin greater than negative 1, so ibig sabihin yung mga number na yun is fraction or decimal. Pwede negative 1 half, negative 1 fourth, negative 1 eighth. Pag sinabi naman natin less than 1, Ibig sabihin, mas mababa sa 1. It's either fraction ulit or decimal. Like 1 half, 1 fourth, 1 eighth, and so on. Okay, para mas maintindihan mo, let's have an example. Find the sum of infinite geometric sequence 8, 4, 2, 1, 1 half, 1 fourth, and so on and so forth. So, in this case, Mahaba yung series of numbers natin. Una mong gagawin. Kailangan parehas sila ng R. At dapat yung R o yung common ratio ay less than 1 but greater than negative 1. Sa pagkuha ng common ratio o nung R, i-divide lang ulit natin yung second term sa first term, third term sa second term, fourth term sa third term, and so on and so forth. Okay. Gamitin na natin yung formula na to. Yan. Tapos, kunin muna natin yung mga given para may ma-plug in tayo sa formula na yan. Okay. Yung S, ayan yung hinahanap natin. Kaya question mark yan. A1 is yung first term. Ano yung first term natin sa given? Yes, very good. 8. And last, we have R. Yung kinumpute natin kanina which is yung 1 half. Very good. Okay. So, makakaroon tayo ng S is equal to 8, which is yung A sub 1, divided by 1 minus 1 half, which is yung R. Okay, pag nakakakita tayo ng ganyang equation, yung denominator niya may fraction, kunin lang natin yung denominator ng 1 half. Anong denominator ng 1 half? Which is 2. So, multiply natin yung numerator at saka denominator sa 2. For example, 1 third, imumultiply mo siya sa 3. Pag 1 fourth, imumultiply mo siya sa 4. So, 8 times 2 is equal to 16. So, 1 minus 1 half is equal to 2 minus 1. Minultiply lang natin yung 2 sa 1, tapos yung 2 sa 1 half. So, the answer will be 16 over 1 or simply 16. Okay, example number 2. What is the sum of the infinite geometric sequence 3, 2, 4 thirds, 8 over 9, 16 over 27, and so on and so forth. Okay, next. Gawin ulit natin ay hanapin yung R. So, hanapin na natin. So, 2 divided by 3 is 2 thirds. Next, 4 thirds divided by 2 is also 2 thirds. 8 over 9 divided by 4 over thirds is also 2 thirds. So, na-confirm natin na yung R natin ay common. So, this sequence is geometric sequence. So, now, magkakaroon tayo ng given na A sub 1 which is yung 3 and then yung R natin is 2 thirds. 
simply substitute all the given to the formula na to. Okay. So, makakaroon tayo ng S is equal to 3 divided by 1 minus 2 third. Okay. Sa tingin nyo, sa natin siya i-multiply? Yung numerator at saka yung denominator. Very good sa 3. Kasi yung denominator ng 2 third is 3. So, 3 times 3 is equal to 9. 3 times 1 minus 2 third is equal to 3 minus 2. So, magkakaroon tayo ng 9 over 1 or simply 9. Kung may natutunan ka sa video na to, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell para lagi kang updated sa mga video ni Seth. See you again soon! Bye-bye! Bye-bye!